So, Asalaamu Alaikum. I'm thinking today about um, the power we have as individuals and particularly the power we have as women within ourselves and to not give that power away. By that I mean love yourself. Whoever you are, wherever you live, it's the most powerful thought you can have about yourself. That means, sometimes it means when we see somebody and we don't like them and we don't like what they represent or they rub us the wrong way, to me that's always been an indication I need to look at myself and see where in me do I have that quality? Because if it bothers me and others, then it must exist in me. So learning to love yourself can be a great responsibility where you really look at who you are, you look at how you think. Um, practicing gratitude can help that. And also loving yourself. You can't truly love others until you love yourself. And loving yourself can just mean accepting the way you are. You just are who you are and that's wonderful and you're unique and value that. For instance, if someone gives you a compliment, oh, I really like your hair or I really like your dress, mashallah, and you say, oh, I've had this dress forever, oh, you know, my hair, whatever. Learn to accept those compliments. You know, women are very good at giving love and very good at giving, period. But sometimes, as women, we have a hard time accepting the love and accepting the compliments. So that could be a little step to um, really loving yourself. If someone tells you you're beautiful, say thank you. I like your dress, mashallah, thank you. Don't push it away, you deserve it. Revel in your beauty, you are powerful as a woman. And what I'm talking about is just the way you think, and how you treat others, but mostly how you treat yourself. This is very important. So hopefully for young women, this can help them realize that you are beautiful, powerful, worthy, valuable, unique, and you have a very important place in the universe. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah.